interesting. Okay, brain games. Um, and tell me, uh, what type of music do you listen to? Or what is your favorite? My, kind, my favorite is, um, I think is pop music. Pop music, okay. Do you have a favorite band? I don't understand. Okay, who's your favorite? Blackpink. Uh, oh, okay, interesting. Okay, wonderful. Um, tell me, uh, who's your best friend? Um, I have many best friends. Oh, okay. Um, and do they go to school with you to the same school or do they stay uh, close to you? Yes, they are my classmates. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. Um, boys and girls or only girls? Boys and girls. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Okay, T. So, um, is there anything you would like to ask me before we start our lesson today? Um, let me see. Um, no, I don't have any question. Okay, wonderful. Okay, let's start our lesson. Okay, please tell teacher, what do you see on the screen now? I see unit one vocabulary and listening. Okay, excellent. Good job. Okay. Let's go there. <clears throat> okay, so a formal welcome. Welcome to iGEMS. I am teacher Olivia, and today I will be your online coach. It's very nice to meet you, T. So if I am speaking too fast, please tell teacher. Teacher, can you speak slower? Or if you don't understand, just tell me and I will try to rephrase it. So in other words, I will try to ask you in a different way, or I might give you an example of myself. Then you can see, oh, okay, this is what she means. And then you, you could maybe answer, okay? It's important okay. for us to try, never be shy, okay? You are learning um, another language, and everybody makes mistakes. And that is why you have classes so that you can improve, okay? Yes. For example, I learned how to speak French and it is very, very difficult, okay? So at the end of the day, I gave up, which is not very good. And now that I'm an adult, I got some books and I'm trying to teach myself again how to speak French, okay? Okay. Um, so just keep on practicing and tell me if you don't understand and we try and adjust. Okay, so can you please tell me what unit one is about today? This is family, uh, vocabulary and listening. Excellent. And the topic? Yes, family. I can talk about different types of transport. Okay, let's look at it. So if we are speaking about family and we think about how we travel to our family, do we maybe go by train or do we drive by car? So let's look. Okay, gonna take my picture away. Yes. Okay, vocabulary. Look at Holly's family tree. Complete the sentences. Choose from the words below now. 
They are a family, okay? This is called a family tree. And it usually starts with the oldest people. So here we've got grandma or grandmother. She is Kate. We've got Owen and he is the grandfather. Okay. Now Kate and Owen, they had two children. They had a boy and a girl. Their boy's name is James and their daughter's name is Sarah. Now James and Sarah, they both grew up. And once they finished school and they were ready, they got married, okay? James married Emma, okay? James and Emma, they had three children together. Here we've got Leo, Holly, and Alice. Now the exercise is about Holly's family tree. And that is why she's got this thick circle around it. So we are going to ask, for example, what is Kate to Holly? Then you will maybe say, it's her grandmother. What is Emma to Holly? It's her mother. Okay. On the other side of the family, Kate and Owen, they had a daughter as well. Their son is James and their daughter is Sarah. Sarah grew up and she got married to Elliot. Together, Sarah and Elliot had two children. Okay. Their daughter's name is Grace and their son's name is Charlie. Okay. So now we're going to look at Holly. Then we're going to say, who is Elliot to Holly? It's her uncle. Who is Sarah to Holly? It's her aunt. Okay, so let's look at all of this. Do you have any questions before we start answering? No, I don't. Okay, wonderful. James is Holly's father. There's an example. Now, number two, Leo is her brother. Leo is her brother. Brother. Yes. Okay. Kate is her? Kate is her grandmother. Excellent, grandmother. Emma is her? Mother. Excellent. Alice is her? Sister. Excellent. Owen is her? Grandfather. Sarah is her? Aunt. Charlie is her? Cousin. Elliot is her? Uncle. Okay, this looks really good. This is really good, T. I think you got all of them correct. Oh no, it's not showing us the answer. Okay, but I'm telling you they are all correct. Now let's learn this, possessives. 
we add an S after a name or a noun to show possession or families or family re re relationship, okay? So for example here, Holly's, okay? Yes. Possession. Who is that to Holly? It's Holly's father. Who is Emma to Holly? It's Holly's mother, okay? That is possession or relationship, okay? It belongs to me. Who is Nock? It's T's sister, okay? It's yours. So that's when we speak about possessives, okay? We also get possessives when we speak about things that belong to us. Now, for example, let me put up my picture again. Here I've got my mobile, my phone, okay? It's Olivia's phone, okay? Okay. Here I've got a toy, <laughs> okay? My daughter, I've got two daughters. The one is nine and the youngest one is five. Her name, the youngest one who play loves to play with toys, her name is India, okay? Yeah. India, yes, like the country India, okay? Oh. Yes, this is India's toy, okay? So okay. it can be items as well, okay? Good. Okay. Now, here, I've got some medicine, okay? And every day I give this to my mom and dad so that they can stay healthy. So whose medicine is this? So I will maybe say it's my mom's medicine or my dad's medicine, okay? Now, do you have any cousins? Yes, I do. Okay, so say it's maybe holiday or a special family day and things like that. When do you normally go visit them? About two weeks. Every two weeks? No, sometimes. Oh, okay. So now you, your friend maybe asks you, um, where are you going? I'm going to my cousin's house, okay? So you show whose possession is it? Whose possession is it? Cousin. Now we're going to complete this. Lear read and learn this box. Then look at the family tree again and complete the sentences using words from exercise one. This is almost like a memory game. James is Emma's. They are married. Okay, let's look at the family tree again. Take a screenshot for yourself. We've got the grandparents, Kate and Owen. Then they have two children, James and Sarah. Then James and Emma gets married, so they are husband and wife. Sarah and Elliot gets married, so they are husband and wife, okay? Emma and James has three children, Leo, 
Holly and Alice. They are brother and sisters, okay? Sarah and Elliot has two children, Grace and Charlie. Grace and Charlie is brother and sister. Okay, let's try and take it, try and let's, let's try and memorize a little bit, okay? Have you taken your virtual screenshot? I can't remember it. Okay, we're just gonna try, we're just gonna try, okay? I'm gonna, I'm going to help you. Okay, Emma and James, they are married. So James is Emma's? What's the opposite you, of, of wife? Can you repeat? James is Emma, they are married. If two people are married, what do you get? A husband James, and a wife. James is Emma's husband. Good. Now, Holly. Kate is right at the top. Kate is the old lady of the family at the top of the family tree. So, Holly is Kate's. I can't remember. Can you show the family tree again? And I will take photo. I will take photo. <laughs> no, you're supposed to remember this. <laughs> okay, so let me let me help you to to guess. Okay, Holly is Kate. Kate is right at the top. She is the old lady. Who's the old lady? Old lady and old man is grandpa and grandma yes i know okay now yes. kate is a grandma so holly no. is kate's grand sure yes we get a grandson and a granddaughter Then here, Kate is Owens. Let's go back and have another look. Kate and Owen. Is husband and wife. Yes. So who is Kate? Kate is Owens? Wife. Kate is Owens' wife. Excellent. Good job. Charlie. Remember. Kate and Owen is the grandparents, the grandmother and the grandfather. Then they had two kids, James and Sarah. James is Kate's son. Son. Great job. Now, Sarah and her husband, Elliot, they had two children, Grace and Charlie. So Charlie is, uh, Charlie, Charlie is Owen's granddaughter. Grandson. Grandson, Charlie is a boy. Okay. 
Alice. Alice is Holly's sister. Okay. Now, if Hall, if Leo is Sarah's nephew, then Alice is Sarah's. What's the opposite of nephew? I don't know the meaning of the the meaning of the this word. Okay, so here nephew is your brother or your sister's children nephew and niece okay let's go let's go to the next page again so Leo is Sarah's nephew. Okay, so for example, if your little sister gets married and she has children, okay? If it's a boy, it will be your nephew, okay? If it's a girl, it would be your niece, okay? Now Leo and Alice, they are brother and sister. So Leo is Sarah's nephew and Alice is Sarah's niece. Okay, I think it might be like that. I'm not sure now. Sorry about that. Grace is Elliot what? Elliot and Sarah had two children. The one was a boy, the other one was a girl. So what is Grace to Elliot? Um, I think Grace is Elliot's son. Grace is a girl. Uh, Grace, is, Grace is Elliot's daughter. Excellent. Great job, T. You've done well. Okay, now let's listen. Unit one, lesson one A, exercise three. One, James is Holly's father. Two, Leo is her brother. Three, Kate is her grandmother. Four. Emma is her mother. Five. Alice is her sister. Six. Owen is her grandfather. Seven. Sarah is her aunt. Eight. Charlie is her cousin. Nine. Elliot is her uncle. One. Leo is Sarah's nephew. Okay, let us Two. stop there. It's brother, grandmother, mother, sister, grandfather, aunt, cousin, and uncle. Okay, let's have a look at this one. This exercise we done with a family tree right next to us. Okay, this was this one. Can you still hear me? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> you can turn off your sound. I'm just going to go through your answers. 
Is it's very loud from your from your side. Okay, number two, Leo is her brother. Excellent, there, T. Number three, Kate is her grandmother. Excellent. Number four, Emma is her mother. Well done. Alice is her sister. Excellent. Good job. Owen is her grandfather. Well done there, T. Sarah is her aunt. Great job. Number eight, Charlie is her cousin. Well done. And Elliot is her uncle. Awesome. You got all of the answers correct. Yay. Thank you. Good job. Yes. Okay. Now, number two was very tricky because we didn't have the family tree next to us. So this is like where we have to memorize what we learned. Okay. Let's look here. So we're going to say husband, granddaughter, we said. We said daughter. We said niece, wife, son, and grandson. Okay, now let's go to the page. It has our answers. Husband, excellent, great job. Yes, they are married. Number three, granddaughter, excellent T. Number four is daughter. Okay, so this one here, you didn't quite understand, but this is niece and nephew. Okay, so the answer is correct. Okay, I explained to you the opposite. So if you have your auntie, what is your auntie's name? Auntie. You, your mother or your father's uh, brother or sister? Um, her name is Zoom. Okay, so is that, it's a sister? Yes. Okay, so you are her niece. Oh. Okay, you are her niece. If you have a brother, it will be her nephew. Okay. Oh. So if you have children one day, then Na will have a niece and a nephew. Okay. okay. So that's what it means. Okay, excellent. Then 100% wife, son and grandson. Excellent, good job. I know exercise two was a little bit daunting, <clears throat> okay? But as you move through this lesson, if you uh, carry on with this unit, you will see how they all fit together because we are constantly speaking about relationships, brother, sister, grandmother, grandfather, niece and nephew, okay? So, Remember, you are someone's niece, and if you are a male, you are someone's nephew, your aunt's niece or your aunt's nephew. The same for uncle, uncle's niece and uncle's nephew. Well done. Okay, Unit one. Let's go Let's to the next page. Here we're going to learn now. Your children are your sons and daughters. Okay. Your parents are your mother and? Father. Excellent, T. Great job there. Well done. Okay. Your grandparents are your? Uh, grandmother and grandfather. Excellent. So, Grand M? And grand F. <laughs> Great job. Your grandchildren are your? Um, 
if you have a grandma, are you her daughter or granddaughter? Grand, uh, red, uh, are your grandchildren are your grandsons and granddaughters? Excellent. Okay, a twin. If there are two of you, a twin can be a boy or a girl. So a twin is either a what is not to you? My uh, sister. A twin or is either a sister or brother. Brother, the same age as you. Well done. Now, your great grandparents are your. Uh, I don't know the meaning of this word. Great grandparents. Okay, so you've got grandparents. Um. And their mother and father is your great grandparents. Oh. So you've got great grandparents, grandparents. Then you have parents. Okay, then here is children. Okay. So, <clears throat> if your grandparents and you, you are a granddaughter. But if your, if your grandparents still has their parents, you become their great granddaughter. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Okay, so great grandparents are your grandfathers or grandmother parents. Excellent. Grand F or Grand M. Well done. Excellent, good job, you got all of them correct. Excellent, good job. Yes, well done. Thank you, thank you. Superstar award, okay, let's go to the next page. Lesson 1A, exercise Lesson five. A. exercise six. Mother. Brother, cousin, grandmother, grandson, husband, son, uncle. Okay, so here is just the pronunciation of them. So let's listen to them, then you just repeat, okay? Lesson 1A, exercise five. Mother. 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 Okay, we don't have to, I'm not gonna play it all the time. I'm just gonna go through them, okay? Mother. Say again for teacher, mother. Father. 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 Okay. Brother. Brother. Sister. Sister. Grandfather. Grandfather. Grandmother. Grandmother. Aunt. Aunt. Uncle. 
Uncle. Uncle. Uncle. Cousin. Cousin. Excellent. Son. Son. Daughter. Daughter. Granddaughter. Granddaughter. Grandson. Grandson. Husband. Husband. Wife. Wife. Niece. Niece. Nephew. Nephew. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Okay, so listen to the to the pronunciation of the vowels in blue. Mother only has one O, but cousin, cousin is double. Cousin. Lesson 1A, exercise five. Mother. Cousin. Okay, now listen to this. Lesson 1A, exercise six. Brother. Grandmother. Grandson. Husband. Son. Uncle. Okay, what other words does has the sound ah uh, like cousin? Um, I think four of the words have a sound ah. Uh. Okay, let's look. Lesson 1A, exercise 7. Is this your phone? Yes, it is. Okay, let's look here. It's not showing us the answer, but it's not mother. It's not brother. What, what did you say it is? Mother. <coughs> Cousin. Okay. Cousin. Cousin. So the ah sound. Grandmother. Granddaughter. Daughter. Ah. This is a very, very tricky one. So I would say anything that has a a uh sound in. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's look at let's look at number six. So if your mother and your father gets divorced, okay, then divorce. they divorce. Do you know what divorce means? Okay, divorce means they split up. Split up. Mom leaves dad and dad leaves mom. They don't stay together anymore. Mom meets a new guy. She gets married to the new guy. And dad also meets a new wife. They become your step parents. So it's not your real parent, but it will be your stepmother, which is your father's wife. Okay. Okay. And you can also have a step father. Okay, that is your
That is your mother's husband. Then we have a step brother or a step sister. Now they aren't your real brother or sister, but they no. are the children of either your step father or your step mother. Okay. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Okay. So remarriage is when a couple gets married again and usually to another to another person so you get a stepfather and a stepmother stepfather would either be your mother's husband then you have stepmother which is your father's wife then you also have a step brother or step sister, which is the children of either the stepfather or the step mother. Now, lastly, before we go, we finish up this exercise. Listen, then we fill in the answer. Who is Carrie? Who is Joseph? Who is Marcus? Who is Darren and who is Anna? Lesson 1A, exercise seven. Is this your phone? Yes, it is. Oh, nice photos. Who's this? That's Carrie. She's my cousin. She's at university. Oh, okay. And is this your brother? Yeah. Yes. Well, he's my stepbrother. What's his name? Darren. And this is his dad. That's my stepdad. His name's Joseph. Who are these people? <laughs> that's my little sister, Anna. And that's my friend, Marcus. Yeah, uh, what about her? That's Nella. She's my neighbour. She's nice. How old is she? 18. Really? 18? Uh, she's Marcus's girlfriend. Oh. Okay, so... Carrie. Uh, cousin. Okay. Let's see, Carrie's the cousin. Okay, Darren. Uh, step brother. Yeah, step brother. Joseph. Step dad. Anna. Sister. Marcus. Friend. Okay, let's lock them in. It's looking good, T. Lesson 1A, exercise 7. Is this your phone? Awesome! Yes, it well is. Done. You got all of them correct. High five. Good listening skills. Okay, wonderful. So thank you so much for today. You were a superstar. You're really intelligent. And... Um, I hope, I hope that you will do really well in all of your English classes and exams. And hopefully I see you soon and have a good day further. Thank you. Bye-bye.